Hello. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick stream. I've been, I have been working on a feature for Ink um, that is sorely needed, and it's essentially around um, scrolling within Ink. Um, so let's switch over and have a look at how this works. Um, so sorry about the dirtiness of my screen. It's actually just what you get having a matte screen protector. This matte. It's, it's more matte than I expected, but it's really nice to write on. Um, okay, so this is the old version of, of Ink. This is the last version, I think. Um, let's have a look at what happened. So if I unlock this, I can write, hello, how are you? Great, um, but if I wanna scroll, I use my finger and, am I on the last version? Yeah, I use my finger and I can't scroll. As long as I'm on the the ink embed, I can't scroll. I can scroll from down here, but sometimes you write a lot and it starts covering the screen. The screen, and you have nowhere to touch. I can obviously still touch up here and I can see st obviously still touch down here, but often it covers the whole screen. Now what you can do is you can click on these buttons and scroll and that's what I've been doing to get around it. But it also does click those buttons. So if you hit lock, it'll lock it. Um, while it's locked, you can scroll however you want. But um, that is a little hack, whoops. Um, and then another issue is that as soon as you unlock it, the way, um, let me delete that. The way teal draw works is that it'll detect the first input onto the screen. And if that input is a finger, it'll allow you to draw with finger. So if I unlock it and I go to scroll immediately, what I actually do is draw, right? Now, some people might draw with, might do stuff with fingers, probably in the, in the drawing embed. In the writing embed, I don't think anyone's using their finger because the lines are too small anyway. Um, so that's not really what, it's It's made for pen and I, I want people to be able to use their finger to scroll. So if I use the pen first, then it locks it and I can't use my finger, but I can use the pen. Okay, that's how it was. Now what I have done is I've worked a lot on this for a few days. I've probably done like 15 hours or something trying to figure this out. Now this is a new version. It's not finished yet, so it's not gonna get released yet. But um, now when you unlock it, you can write straight away, but you can also scroll. Now, it may seem small to you guys, but this was kind of a pain in the ass to do. So, um, just so you appreciate it, it does a few things to get this to work. It detects, what it does is it puts an invisible layer over the whole ink embed so that your pen, when it touches this, it's not touching the TL Draw canvas. So TL Draw doesn't take over. What it's touching is that invisible layer, or if you know HTML, it's it's touching an invisible div. That div then checks, is it a pen or is it a finger or is it a mouse? If it's a mouse or a pen, then it sends that event to TL Draw and TL Draw takes over. Now that was a little bit tricky to get working in itself because it's artificially sending that over to TL Draw, and then TL Draw has to immediately start drawing, and it wasn't quite working right, but it's working right now. Um, then, if you touch it, that invisible layer senses, oh, it's a, it's a finger, so I won't send that to TL Draw. What I'll do is I'll allow you to scroll. Now the, pro now, the problem is, the way it does that is, if it's sending a pen signal through, it locks the scroll bar. Um, you can see this on desktop a little bit better. So maybe I'll, no, I won't switch to desktop. Anyway, the scroll bar would disappear, um, because it locks the scrolling of that section if you're using pen. And that 
means that it's it's not going to scroll. It, now, then I have to know when to let it scroll again. So originally I had when you take your pen off, it allows it to scroll again. But then you see the scroll bar flashing on and off on desktop immediately. So that doesn't work very well. So I had to delay it and say, okay, after 100 milliseconds, turn the scrolling back on. But what I found was as you write, so let's say I go, hello, how are you? The gap between words is about 100 milliseconds. So often I would be starting to write just at the point when it was turning scrolling back on and that caused some issues. Um, so I couldn't do that. So what I ended up doing was saying it locks scrolling until you touch the screen again and then it unlocks scrolling. But the problem is I haven't let go of the screen. So even though it's unlocked scrolling, it's not willing to scroll. It is now because I fixed it, but it wasn't willing to scroll because it was I unlocked it too late, essentially. So um, what I had to do to get around that, this is how complicated this stuff gets sometimes. Uh, what I had to do to get around that was as soon as you touch the screen, it unlocks scrolling but then it watches how your finger moves and it fakes a scroll. It man it's manually at the moment telling that container how to scroll based on my finger movement. And then when I let go, it'll be normal scrolling now because now it's, it was already unlocked. So it's gotten a bit complicated, um, but it's gotten the, in there in the end. So essentially, you can write, or if I unlock it, you can write, hello, and then you can scroll immediately by touching anywhere, which is awesome. Um, the reason I'm not releasing it just yet is because it still has some issues with Windows. It works fine on Mac, works fine on iOS, still has some issues with Windows because of how that reports the touches. And I suspect on Android, but I, I don't have a normal Android device to to test with just yet. So I'm going to fix it on Windows. But what I'll probably do to begin with is just add a feature toggle in the settings. So if you're on iOS, you can turn it on and if and that'll give me a bit more time to fix it for Windows. But that's it. So uh, all I've done in this one is just um, work on that scrolling issue to try and make that way more fluid and easy to input. That's it for today. Um, I'll have something for you soon, um, but tonight I wanted to jump something, jump on something else, so I thought I'll just do a video stream and let you guys know where it's at. Thanks heaps for joining. See ya.